Some of the world's largest oil exporters will meet in Vienna tomorrow. There's renewed hope that OPEC will revisit a cap on production. Even the possibility of production quotas help crude prices shed most of their declines today, and they settle down just 0.2 percent. But as Brian Sullivan reports from Vienna, investors are hoping the meeting brings answers to their many questions. Heading into the first of its two annual meetings here in Vienna, Austria, there are three big questions that OPEC must answer. Number one, will the run back to $50 for oil be enough to satisfy many of the most cash-strapped OPEC members, such as Venezuela, Nigeria, and Angola? In the media scrum on the way into his hotel earlier today, the Angolan oil minister suggested that 50 might not be enough, but 60 maybe. The thing is, it is okay, but uh, maybe... $60 per barrel. The second big question is whether or not Saudi Arabia and Iran can put aside their long simmering political and religious differences and come to any kind of a deal on either limiting or cutting output. Both have been engaged in a fierce market share around the world, particularly in China. And remember, the Saudis will be sending a new oil representative to OPEC for the first time in 25 years. It is a big wild card, and the man is largely seen as just a proxy for the king of Saudi Arabia's son. The third question is, will OPEC survive as a cartel? Many are saying that their inability to strike any kind of a deal over the last few years means that the cartel has been dramatically weakened. We'll see tomorrow if they can reassert their dominance, because what happens here in the building behind us will impact the price of oil, which means it will impact the price that you pay at the gas pump. For Nightly Business Report in Vienna, Austria, I'm Brian Sullivan.